In today's video, we're going to be looking at the AQA required practicals, practical one, which concerns microscopy, and we need to use a light microscope to observe, draw, and label cells in an onion skin. So I'm going to take you through the method needed in order to do this particular practical. So in the first step, what we need to do is get our microscope slide that looks a little bit like this, and then use a dropping pipette to add water or at least a drop of water to the slide. So step one, use a dropping pipette to put one drop of water onto the microscope slide. Next up, we want to get our onion and obtain a tiny layer, so a single layer of that onion. So that will involve you cutting up the onion, peeling it, and removing a single layer of the onion. Now place this layer of onion on that slide containing the water drop and you want to use forceps in order to do this. Because we want to be able to view the onion, and remember it's pretty translucent, pretty transparent, we're going to use iodine in order to do this. In order to fix the onion in position, we're going to have to cover it with what's called a cover slip. This will look a little bit like this. So here's our slide. You'll have a tiny layer of onion which is obviously in the water, and then you use a little square cover slip to seal it in place. So now we're ready to actually view it on the microscope. So you're going to place that onion on the stage, which is here, and clip it into place. So now we need to look at using the microscope appropriately, and and remember, there are three different lenses, one, two, three. So the shortest lens has the lowest magnification power. And you always start with the lowest magnification power first before building up to the stronger powers. So in terms of our next step, you just want to place the slide on the microscope stage. And now we want to view the slide using the lowest power objective lens. So look through the eyepiece which is up here. And you want to turn this fine adjustment knob here in order to bring that slide into focus. And once you've done that, you can rotate and zoom in effectively. You can magnify that slide using a higher power objective lens. So eight, use adjustment knob 
to bring the onion tissue into focus. And then magnify tissue using higher power objective lens. So once you've done this, you now need to draw what you can see. So you need to make a clear label drawing of the cells and make sure you label any organelles. So commonly you'll be able to see the following organelles because because an onion cell is a type of plant cell, you should be able to see a cell wall, vacuole, cell membrane, but obviously it depends on the clarity of your image, cytoplasm. So list your ordinary plant cell organelles here. And don't forget to make a note of the magnification used. So note the magnification used. A risk assessment because it's a practical is always essential. So what are the potential dangers here? Well, most likely you'll use a knife in order to cut up that onion in order to obtain the single layer of onion tissue. So take care when using the scalpel. Iodine is a stain, so make sure you don't get that on clothing. And obviously wear goggles. Tie long hair back. You might want to wear gloves to avoid staining your hands with the iodine. And lastly, be careful with the light being used in this light microscope. Don't make it too bright because that will damage the cells in your retina of your eyes. If they ask you for any improvements you could make, well, a light microscope can really only magnify up to 1500 times. So in order to magnify further, you could use an electron microscope instead. Because it has greater magnification powers and greater resolving powers. And last up, don't forget this formula triangle. If they're asking you to calculate magnification, image, image size, object size, remember that image size is given by magnification times object size. And you can rearrange that formula triangle three times in order to find out the object size and the magnification. Right, I hope you found this video helpful guys. I'll try and work my way through all of the AQA practicals in turn.